Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aptera Owners Club. Just today um, at CES, Mercedes-Benz introduced their Vision EQXX um, vehicle, which is a vehicle that they've been developing for the past 18 months as a concept to try to make the most efficient car possible. And I think there's a lot of parallels with Aptera, so I thought it was quite interesting. So I thought we would uh, maybe watch their presentation together and comment about it. With the EQS, we brought the most aerodynamic production car to the road, and our teams didn't stop there. Creating the Vision EQXX, their outstanding engineering skills led to an even lower drag coefficient with a value of just... Okay, so their um, coefficient of drag of 0.17, which is pretty impressive for a very conventional, relatively conventional looking car. Uh, Aptera is 0 0.013, so better. And uh, what I thought is interesting is they left the um, back wheel uncovered um, probably because they think it looks better because definitely if you wanted to maximize aerodynamics it seems like you would cover um, the rear wheel the front wheel remember it, from our previous video about the four-wheel Aptera it's it's a problem to cover it because the front wheels have to turn obviously and um, having covers on it while improving aerodynamics leads to a lot of engineering problems with turning the front wheel so they they have an interesting solution to this and it's in here more individual electric mobility with less waste because efficiency is the new currency. And our team has shown that all the details add up to remarkable benefits. Our aerodynamics experts work with... So right there you saw it has these intake ports that, that um, shunt the air around the front wheel and have these um, uh, a little cut out here to direct the um the laminar flow of the air along the side of the car so may if i don't know how well that works i'm guessing it works pretty well uh, maybe that's something that aptera could um adopt for their uh, four-wheel vehicle and there's another cool feature um that you, we're about to see here our designers to achieve a drag coefficient of just 0.17 yeah, right there. So this um, is a wing to improve the aerodynamics of the lower portion of the car. And they made it retractable because they didn't want this um, sticking out because it's a, it's an edge that people might sit on or put their foot on or, you know, it might bang up someone's shin. So they made it retractable and it, and it deploys when the car is in motion and then retracts when the car is parked, which I think is a fairly cool idea. With Vision EQXX, with its highly ambitious goal of a single digit kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer, we know. Okay, so they're getting six miles per kilowatt hour. Um, Aptera gets about 10 miles per kilowatt hour. So this is about 60% as efficient as a, an Aptera, but it does, you know, carry twice the number of people. So on a per person basis, it's theoretically more efficient. Um, but um, the this efficiency is pretty impressive given the uh, size of the car. I don't remember how this, I don't know how this compares with the uh, Lightyear 1, but I imagine it's fairly similar. And there's a couple of other features that are very similar to Aptera. This is interesting. Different the thinking is compared to standard car design. Take this for example. This is the giant sort of rear panel of the car, which by the way, not especially heavy. This has been designed using extensive computer modeling, basically video games engines. So that Okay, so you see these weird cutouts and how they reduce the weight by um, having a computer model um, the strength and relative materials that you would need to, um, to make this thing uh, a functional structure. And this reminds me exactly of what um, Chris Anthony was talking about here. Actually, 3D printed hinges this is the upper door hinge, and we do a design process called generative design, where we give the computer a problem, a constraint that says the door hinge is here, it weighs so much, it has to pivot here, and then we tell the computer, take away any weight you can to make this the lightest weight part possible. So what you end up with is a part that's 30% the weight, but still just as strong as a regular Okay, so that is basically the same thing that um, 
Mercedes is doing. And then Mercedes is doing something else that's also similar to Aptera. In fact, for the most part, like I said, this air intake is closed and underneath the car is a cooling plate, quite literally just a big piece of metal. The wind flies past it, it cools down and that cools the battery. And that's sort of all it needs in terms of. OK, that's very similar to the skin cooling system that the Aptera has, where they're going to put uh, channels on the underbelly of the car and have coolant pumped through it. Now, the difference is the uh, EQXX has a metal plate and the battery is right up against the metal plate and just basically by um, thermal conduction is cooling the battery. And it, it, it the uh, Mercedes-Benz does not have a liquid cooling system in their battery, which um, because their uh, car is efficient and doesn't require that much uh, power output from the battery, so they think that they can cool it by air. I think that's a mistake for um, really hot climates, uh, like like the desert where I live. And um, I had a Nissan Leaf that did not have an active cooling system, and that was a disaster for that battery. And so I like that Aptera has a liquid cooling system. Now, Mike, one question is, is that the composite body is a good thermal insulator, which means that it's very um, good for the comfort of the car. Um, but a thermal insulator is not going to be the best um, cooling system. It's not going to be a great cool uh, heat sink. So I don't know what they're planning on doing with the cooling system there. Are they going to uh, make the channels? Um, is there going to be a metal plate next to the channels that uh, is a better thermal conductor? So I'm not sure. Uh, something that I'm sure that they've thought about. But um, it's interesting that that the uh, Mercedes-Benz EQXX has um, adopted many of the same ideas as the Aptera, such as the um, making parts lightweight by having computer design to um, take out all the excess material, and then also doing a um, getting rid of the radiator and doing cooling via the underbelly of the vehicle, just like Aptera is planning on doing. And um, they're maximizing um, the aerodynamics. And this is a very impressive uh, coefficient of drag for a fairly conventional looking car. And I think that this intake to, uh, to wrap the air around the front wheel may be the best, um, best way to go about dealing with the aerodynamic problem of an exposed front wheel. So um, very interesting that they're pushing efficiency. I think it's great that other manufacturers are pushing efficiency. Oh, the other thing about the uh, EQXX is they are planning to put a solar panel on the roof of this vehicle, which is supposed to give it about 25 kilometers of range. So that's what, um, maybe like 15, 15 miles of range per day, um, which is, uh, you know, it's not nothing, but it's not, it's not the 40 miles of range, obviously, that an Aptera would give you. Um, this obviously would be a very expensive car. It's a concept car. They're not planning on bringing this particular car to market, but they're going to use a lot of the things that they learned on, on the aerodynamics and how to um, design the parts to make their future electric vehicles more efficient because that's kind of been their driver. And I think it's great that uh, Mercedes-Benz is looking into that um, because I think we all appreciate more efficient cars rather than just um, you know, the previous thing had been to, for cars to just become more powerful and look flashier, but um, they are designing for efficiency just like Aptera is doing. Um, so I, I thought it was a very interesting vehicle. So I thought, we, and it had a lot of parallels with Aptera. So um, if you want to check it out, they just streamed this um, a few hours ago today, and you can find lots of videos on YouTube about the uh, Mercedes-Benz EQXX, and you guys should check it out. Thanks for watching.